Hi everyone, this is Dave from the Alpaca Benro Polaris project. Today I will demonstrate the new telescope control features that our Alpaca driver will allow. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the position, go to, move, and sync functions. About a year ago, I purchased a Benro Polaris after watching Richard Tati's excellent video. First off, I thought, well, I've already been used using Stellarium. Uh, let's try and find something in the Southern Hemisphere that we can look at tonight. The Carina Nebula. 120 minutes, it's what, 2 degrees? And it's got a magnitude of 1, so it's very bright. It's going to be easy with this new Benaro Polaris. Okay, let's start up the app. Let's wait for a connection. Okay, we go into the app. But, uh, I want to find the Carina Nebula, so I can search in its catalogue. Well, let's just put C92, see if that's in there. Oh, no, that's no good. NGC33... No, that's no good either. Hang on, let me just call up Stellarium. Catalog 92, just click it. I can do a little screen capture. Pin it. Go back to the Benmore Polaris application. I've got it directly there and I can copy them out. So I can put in 10, 45 and 13. Oh, this is tedious. Wouldn't it be good if you could just do it from uh, Stellarium directly? So the new driver supports both Alpaca and SynScan protocols. We recommend Stellarium Mobile Plus and the Stellarium desktop version that works on Linux, Mac OS and Windows. Now there's really not much to it. Um, if you want to command the Polaris now to go to a particular target, all you need to do is select the target in Stellarium and click the go to icon. The icon will flash red and you will see the reticle marking its path. You can tailor the size of the reticle to match your camera and lens setup, allowing you to visualize your framing easily. Now, if you lose sight of where the mount is pointing in Stellarium, you can simply click the second circular icon and the view will immediately pan to your reticle. Stellarium Plus also has a third icon on the telescope pop-up which allows you to move the primary and secondary axis of the Benro Polaris. The sync button can help you improve the aim of the Benro Polaris by syncing with a known object in the sky. You do this by moving the axis controls to aim the telescope at something you know and centering it in your image or your eyepiece. You find the object in Stellarium, select it and then tap the sync icon. The reticule should immediately shift to your selected target. I'll go into more detail about this uh, later in the video. The Stellarium desktop has the broader set of features of all the Stellarium versions. It's flexible, allowing you to customize what's shown and how it's shown. It includes an extensive What's Up Tonight tool for planning images and targets, and it also includes an extensive library of plugins that add more functionality to the application. It really is a very powerful platform. So on Stellarium Desktop to go to coordinates, on Windows all you need to do is select the target and press Control 1. You can also see the reticle sweeping across the sky and you can change the shape of the reticles much like you can with Stellarium Mobile. To sync coordinates you basically do the same procedure. You move the uh, mount so that you can recognize an object that's centered in the image and then you call up the SLU Telescope 2 dialog box by pressing Control and 0 and then you can just tap the sync button. The reticule should immediately shift to your selected target. So that's it. It really is very simple. The rest of this video I'm actually going to go into some technical detail about the design and it'll give you a bit of insight about the inner workings of the Alpaca Benro Polaris driver it's not necessary to listen to, but if you'd like to better understand how it's working, then uh, listen on. So the Benro Polaris is primarily an altitude azimuth mount as opposed to an equatorial mount. Although the third axis does help with sidereal tracking, the primary axis is azimuth and the secondary axis is altitude. Now, during testing, we noticed the Benro Polaris consistently misaligned its aiming position due to the time it takes to re-engage the tracking. Now we made some, put some smarts in there to compensate for this and the driver calculates where the RA-DEX alt as position will be 
in a few seconds into the future when it does the conversion. You can see we get better results from this tuning. The second way we've improved the Benro Polaris is by uh, watching the, the coordinates that the Polaris is reporting back to us and comparing them against the coordinates that we asked it to navigate to. It calculates if there's an error whenever you do a go to at the end of a go to command and it uses an adaptive integrative algorithm to determine an offset to correct for any consistent errors it notices. You can see this in the log after each go to command is complete. The third improvement in aiming that the driver implements is with the sync function that I've mentioned already. When you click the sync icon, the driver remembers an RA deck offset. So every time we communicate with the Polaris and it communicates with us where it thinks it's pointing, we do a little conversion with the offset. We show the actual position that we've confirmed that it's pointing to. So it's the valid coordinates. We don't send anything to the Polaris when you do a sync. It's purely upstream of the driver that is affected. And finally, plate solving. It's a game changer. I guarantee the first time you try it out on Nina and it corrects where the camera is pointing, spot on pointing at the target that you want, you'll have a big smile on your face. It really is um, a big improvement over trying to think, hey, where is this pointing? Which way do I have to go to find it? It does it all automatically for you. It's great. But I'll probably talk about that in potentially a future video, plate solving, and maybe even talk about the three point alignment if we get some success there. I'd love to hear some feedback on how these videos are viewed. Uh, they do take a bit of time and effort to make, so please encourage me to make them if they're worthwhile. If not, I'll focus on finishing off the coding. That's all I've got tonight. I'll see you later next time. Bye.